All right, hello, hello. Tyler Bryden here covering on land and world of creativity with all this wonderful large language model image generation uh, stuff that's coming out. I had just published a video, uh, really like right now, on stable diffusion image generation by Stability AI. Longer video, a little bit of a deeper dive, still pretty surface level, but sort of interesting. And the and I thought, okay, that's great, great for some people, but what I wanted to answer in this question or at least go through is how to get access to it. So. All this will be in this video is a little bit of a link to the beta signup. I got a couple other links for context around what Stability AI is, just the spike in uh, you know in interest in it, a couple GitHub libraries, and then Stable uh, Diffusion itself. So you can keep on uh, keep up to date with all the latest news, but. Really just wanted to focus in on this. Now, I have actually not put my application through, so this is my disclaimer. I have not been accepted. I was I had been hearing murmurs about this, um, but was a little bit late, and I had access to Dali and MidJourney and a couple of these other platforms, so I hadn't jumped on um, this as quick as possible. And so um, uh, with that in mind, uh, people have been getting access up you know, previously been getting access, I think, relatively quickly. There's about 10,000 beta testers as of their public release um, that was in this article here, which was the 10th of August, so relatively recent. And they're generating 1.7 million images a day. And it's some incredible uh, stuff. I'll link this uh, article here as well, too. Um, but now it's starting to get a little bit more uh, popular. And I can see, I'm gonna see if I can pull this video up uh, and uh, let's pop it up. Um, there's basically a couple people who are starting to get access to it. Um, and I've got, here we go, pull this baby up. So that another good resource out here. So check this out. He uh, sort of talks about it in this video and you can see quite a bit of views relatively quickly. And then people asking some questions, people going through the process, getting, um, you know, um, basically asking, what's the, what's the time? How long is this gonna take? How long is it going to take me to get access to this? And, uh, you know, he's saying, I don't know. It's become super viral. We can see it in the trend now. Um, and, um, and so it might not be as quick as it used to be, but it also looks like there are, not, not just looks, they're saying that they're going to open this for public release. And so I'm guessing that they're going to be onboarding more and more people to it. And there's sort of a, not a race, but maybe in some ways a race with all these other platforms sort of opening up larger access to it. So um, you've got name, you've got email, you've got organization, you've got occupation, and then you've got a message here. And I was lucky with Dali. I applied really quite late into the process, but I got um, I got approved quite quickly. And the reason is because I'm actually creating content around this. I believe this is one of the reasons uh, other people had, you know, done months and months in advance. Maybe I was an anomaly and just got through at the right time. But what I would say is if you can, in this message, um, add your LinkedIn profile, your Twitter, your Instagram. And if you're participating in image generation, if you're doing research on it or you're sharing or creating content on it, the likelihood that you get accepted uh, quicker um, you know, this is a theory, but I've seen this played out once and other people have sort of agreed with this theory that you may be um, sort of uh, prioritized for access um, and go quicker. So that is not 100% certainty. Um, I have not seen things that confirm that specifically for Stability AI, or I have not seen things that refute that. But just in the general, you have, you know, things that are relatively standard, and then you have this opportunity for a message. With this message, you can share your heart, you can share your love, you can share what you're doing, what you're passionate about. Some of the the incredible uh, generation that you have, maybe that you have people who are following or an audience that are, um, you know, interested in what you're doing with image generation. And, you know, just sort of logically, it seems like that would be, you know, valuable to then uh, compared to someone who doesn't leave any message at all. So um, really, I would love to hear if you do you do apply, what's the timeline? What's the timeline for you to get into this? I'm gonna go ahead with my own application here. I will write a message out and I'll maybe even share the message in a YouTube video or something or just below in the description. And then I'll let you know about the waiting waiting time that I had. Uh, we can go back and forth and hopefully it's not as long as some people have experienced with Dowly or other systems uh, in the past. But really, in this video, I want to keep it short. I'm already at four minutes, so I have gone against that. Uh, is basically just how to get access to the stable diffusion beta. Um, this is coming public uh, and you will have opportunities to get more access to it soon. But for now, this is the path that you want to go for and I wish you the best on it. Uh, maximize that um, message the way you can. You've got the link in the video. I've got a couple other links for context for you. Go ahead and if you like this, or you like following this stuff along, send me a message, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm continuing to dive deeper in this and uh, I love it very much. We're in a wonderful, wonderful time for creativity and technology and uh, I, I hope that you enjoy it as much as I do. This has been Tyler Bryden. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.